When it comes to Facebook horror groups, there is always one post you are guaranteed to see at least once a month. What are the most disturbing horror movies you have ever seen? I could barely make it through a human centipede. And of course everyone responds with the family drama, Serbian film, or other suggestions. You will commonly see this thread filled with people naming the same movies over and over that really shouldn't make it on the list. Hereditary, Saul, Hostel, insert other popular movie that non-horror fans would call torture porn. These are the same people who share the, this is the scariest film ever, Netflix users can't even make it through it articles and agree with it. But then you have the deeper fans dropping in, suggesting the old art film Sallow, or French extremes like Martyrs, Irreversible, or High Tension. Then of course the gorehounds jump in with August Underground or the guinea pig flicks from Japan. Of course, for fun we have to throw in movies about cannibals, right? Bring in those 80s Italian jungle exploitation flicks where civilized men encounter tribes of man-eating savages. Cannibal Holocaust being the most well known and not without reason. You can check out my Cannibals in the Courtroom video for more info on the controversy on that piece of cinema. Link in the description for you modern people of society. Of course, cannibals aren't just in the trees, but also behind a computer screen. So let me introduce the movie that I like to reply with in these posts. A movie that truly got under my skin. A German art film called Cannibal from 2006. Directed by Mary and Dora, it is based on Armin Muse, a disturbed man who killed and ate another consenting adult that he met in an online cannibal forum. In March 2001, Muse got a reply from another man on the Cannibal Cafe forum where he was looking for a willing victim. A man named Bern Brandes was not the first to answer, but he was the first to not back out. You see, Muse really did want someone willing to be slaughtered and eaten, and never pressured anyone to gain consent. This was, after all, a civilized man. On March 9th, they met up and set up video cameras to document everything. Murder and consumption intertwined in this house between adults who planned everything and agreed on the ultimate outcome. The movie Cannibal follows this story, giving us grisly details into the awkward depravity that is not for normal consumption. I stated earlier that this was an art film, and I did mean that. The movie has very little dialogue and a lot of long scenes taken in odd angles that seems to be the common cliche for these types of films. But what sets this one apart is the realism of it all. And why not? It is, after all, based on real events. And though it isn't proven, there is a rumor that director Dora was allowed to watch the uncut footage that was shown during the Muse's court case. And follow the details closely within his own movie. That not only makes this movie not for the faint of heart, but knowing that in real life this whole thing went down makes this a watch that can make you truly sick to your stomach. This is no fantasy made for entertainment but a retelling of a real life man who made his sick fantasy a reality and now we get to see it all through the art of cinema. This is a movie where spoilers just don't matter. There is no twist ending. There is no hero who goes through a morality tale. There is no uplifting moment before the credits roll. But with saying that, I am about to go over details that happen in the movie that show how this flick is not for the squeamish. This is not your daddy's true crime movie. On film, we have moments of two men having sex and having it end with our victim, known only as the flesh, demanding that our cannibal, the man, bite his dick off. You heard that right. But chomping clean through a penis is not an easy task. So after the man fails and cries in a corner, it is decided that they will cut off the cock. And they do. And it is in your face, but in a very realistic way. This is not a ripping off dick for a gory laugh that you might see in the Bigfoot horror comedy Cherokee Creek. This then leads them to cooking and eating it. Or at least trying to 
but the flesh is slowly dying. So after the man feeds him pills and alcohol, he puts him in a warm bath. And in real life, Muse read a Star Trek novel to him. He was, after all, a civilized gentleman. Back in the movie version, we have the man carrying the flesh naked down the stairs. And one thing you should know by now in life is that when we die, our bowels loosen, often causing any stool that is in us to come out. So, yes, we do get to see the flesh have his feces come out as he is carried to his next hangout. The man puts him on a meat hook and begins to cut flesh off like a butcher on a cow. After several scenes of dissection, it is time for us to prepare the feast. The final part of the fantasy is the cooking of the human gourmet buffet. Of course, we sit at the table with him as he eats the man he has spent the last 24 hours with. He dines on not only the flesh of his willing victim, but on the intimate memories he has now created in turning his fantasy to a real physical experience that has been completed in a grand way that was never meant to happen in the modern age of human civilization. Now, unfortunately, this movie is not easy to find. The only US DVD release is out of print and is not on any legal streaming sites. Now, if you happen to have a region-free DVD player, you can import a UK DVD for around 30 bucks or less. Also, be careful as there is another film that is streaming and cheap on DVD called Cannibal from 2006 with a lady eating an eyeball off a fork on the cover. There is no women eating in the movie that we have been discussing. But it often comes up in the search. So, happy hunting, I guess. But if you do find yourself an unfortunate soul who is lucky enough to see this one, you will have a new name to impress the people on the other side of the screen as you recommend Cannibal to another consenting adult. And if you want more info on the movie and the true crime case, you can always check out episode 40 of Kill the Cast Horror Podcast. Thank you for joining me. Have a good night.